9 o'clock, and so you are seeing our brand new big deal from Samsung, the leaders when it comes to ultra high definition flat screen televisions. So we are bringing you your choice of size, five different options in this beautiful, vivid, clear, crisp, picture television from Samsung that features some of the newest technology, talking 4K, uh, ultra high definition, and then loaded with smart TV features. And that's why we're dedicating an entire hour to this QVC2 big deal, especially with the big game coming up. I'm gonna say I'm still a little bit of a bitter Betty. My team lost and out of the running last night. So whether you are still in the game, or you, for me, maybe you just like to watch the commercials, this is the way to do it. So let's talk about our QVC2 big deal value because it's only around for a limited time. Um, this your choice of either 49, 55, 65, which is usually our most popular, and then those large, ultra large sizes, 75, or that 82 inch that I was just standing next to, under $2,000 for that 82 inch, that's like a movie theater screen in your house. Um, and then look at that 65 inch, less than $800 with our best easy payment plan. Six months, half a year to pay over time and the shipping and handling already included. So we're talking delivery uh, to your door and then those ultra large sizes, the 75 and 82 inch, that actually includes doorway delivery, which means into the threshold or past the threshold of your home into the front door for you. So this is an expiring offer. It does go away. Um, also as part of our QVC2 big deal, we've extended the warranty. This includes a two year warranty as part of your QVC2 big deal value. So shop with confidence. No no, this is going away and if you're saying well what are these features why is this a superior television well that's why our resident electronics expert Craig Smith is in the house with us for the next hour so happy to be good here to have you yeah and now <laughs> is the time to get the TV for the big game to see it better than you've ever seen before because mm -hmm. these TVs no matter what your favorite size is mm -hmm. are UHD universe ultra high definition or 4k it is crystal clear. Mm -hmm. It is an amazing picture. It is blow you away with the colors and the detail and the transitions. It is a spectacular picture. <laughs> Again, 4K. This is a big upgrade from what you're probably watching now if you still have that 1080p or that 720p television set. All right, so we have the 65. Yep. which That's is the, one we're in front of the right most here. popular. So let's yep. go through all the sizes real sure. quick, just so you can mm -hmm. see them and get an idea of scale. And uh, we'll touch on a little bit later, how do you decide if you're not quite sure what will work for you? Sure. So we start at the 49 inch, which I must say, is an impressive large flat screen television. I feel bad for the 49 because we actually stacked these three other sizes here <laughs> to kind of give you some comparison of what they look like. But yeah, 49, this is 49. This is a big size TV. <laughs> You see the big brother poking his head around yep. the corner here with the 55. And also over here, this is like the giant big brother. 75, 75 inch television inch set. Television. Yep, we got that one for you too. All right, so then the 65 you saw mounted on the mantle, and then that large 82 inch, which I started the show in front of. All of them wall mountable, by the way. Yes, so they you are. can always have a cool, clean, finished and look, but they do come with their stands. Yes, come okay. with the feet on either side as well. Mm -hmm. A nice adjustment. I like that Samsung did. For a while, you saw a lot of the high def TVs. They'd have that pedestal yeah, so, mm -hmm. right in the middle. I didn't like that for balance, but we've got feet on either side. But yes, you can wall mount any of these. In fact, I recommend it, but if you're going to wall mounted I do recommend you also reach out to a professional <laughs> these are high-end television sets I know I wouldn't feel comfortable mounting it myself but if you got the handiness do it but I recommend for most people That's to it. get somebody professionally to do it for you so your TV Mm -hmm. You have your um, pedestal or your legs. You have a smart remote, which we're going to talk about. Yes, this is, you do. This mm -hmm. is the control panel and that two year warranty. So that's everything that you're going to receive. Best easy pay, shipping and handling included. Um, if you have a Q card, we have a special financing offer just for you um, where you get to pay over an entire year's time nice. interest free if you pay it off within those 12 months. Don't have a Q card, need a Q card? Instant approval, you can do it tonight. And for opening that new Q card account, you'll also receive a 40 $40 credit for opening that new Q card account. So let's start with who Samsung is, Craig. Well, these guys are industry leaders and it mm -hmm. comes to the world of all kinds of technology, premier tablets that they create, premier tele telephones, 
that they create, but their biggest probably staple, I'd say, in the market in the United States is going to be right here. Television sets, amazing leadership. I know I've had the chance to go to the Consumer Electronics Show several years. These are one of the, comp this is one of the companies that when you walk into their booth and you see their latest technology with appliances, with TVs, with phones, and especially when you see the big, oh wow, look at that screen television, these are the guys that blow you away. That's why people turn to this brand. They've been turning to it for years. I know I recently purchased the Samsung television. I have it in my house. I know you have a Samsung I television do. in your house. It really comes down to the quality of the picture and the quality of the experience. And these guys are second to none. And just to keep stressing, these are 4K television sets, mm -hmm. ultra high definition. It's the next big step up in the evolution of TVs. I know when I first saw these at CES, probably going back about four or five years ago, when 4K first started to come out, mm -hmm. these were televisions that were 10, 12, $15,000. Mm -hmm. They looked really awesome there at the show, and people were saying, all right, someday these prices are gonna come down and we'll be able to have these in our homes, and now we're seeing that. 4K TVs at prices that we're seeing, you know, are just something that you say, yes, I can finally get that Put that smaller size in my family or my family room or my workout room. Put the big size in the mm -hmm. media room or that 65, which is always the hottest size, fits perfectly right on top of the mantle in the fireplace. Well, let's do, give you an overview of some of the features that you can um, expect to see in sure. our QVC2 big deal. So take a look because this thing is loaded. Okay, there's just so much to talk yeah, about. There's, there's a whole list of amazing specs. So it starts with that 4K mm -hmm. ultra high definition picture quality. This TV also has a 4K processor inside. So what it does, Gabrielle, I know people talk about, oh, I hear about 4K, but am I really going to watch 4K? Well, there's actually a growing amount of content that's available for 4K on YouTube, on Netflix. But this TV is actually powerful enough that no matter what you're watching, let's say you're just watching a regular show, okay? It's broadcast in regular high definition. This television will actually up convert the picture quality to make it as close to 4K as possible. So if you're watching the football games earlier today on your high definition TV, you plug this same TV in right next to it, this is gonna give you a better picture quality. It also has something that's called a refresh rate of 240 Hertz. That's all about action when things are moving across the screen quickly. What we're looking at with 240 Hertz, what that means is there's 240 individual frames, individual pictures in each second that you're watching. So the more frames that you have, the more crisp and smooth everything mm -hmm. looks. I always relate to back when you used to watch TV, let's say 15 years ago, and you saw the basketball player running down the court and he looked kind of blurry because he was moving real fast. This is the kind of TV you're gonna watch anybody running across the screen. I don't care how fast they are. There's gonna be no blur. There's gonna be no little vapor trail behind them. Everything is gonna look crystal clear and perfect. Well, let's talk a little further about this picture quality. Yeah. First of all, my mouth is Look watering. at that, that's just spectacular. But is it me? I'm like, this is even better than real life. The colors, how crisp, how vivid everything is. I mean, this is telling a story without even any sound because no. the picture is so amazing. Yeah, when, but by the way, you talked about the sound. We have two 20 watt speakers here as well. So if you wanna hook up an audio soundbar on the bottom, you can, but you may find you may not have to because the sound quality is great as well. Also a nice little feature here, what's called the Real Game Enhancer, mm -hmm. another little thing that Samsung adds on. There's a lot of companies that make 4K TVs. The difference is that Samsung adds all these extra layers of technology. Mm -hmm. That Real Game Enhancer, if you're doing any gaming on this television set, no matter what it might be, this TV is actually smart enough to recognize that there's a game being played. It'll adjust the settings for you automatically to help cut down on lag time, which is a big complaint for a lot of gamers when the voices and the sounds don't, don't match up with the action. Yeah. So this TV will actually make adjustments when it's gaming, adjust itself back when you're not gaming to put it back in its regular mode. And all of these beautiful colors, this dynamic crystal color display, you're gonna see virtually all the same colors you would see in nature. So all the different shades of yellow, the different shades of green in here, those are the same colors your eyes see in nature. You're gonna see virtually the same exact colors here on the television set. I just can't stop staring. It's good. Right, but this is the 82, by the way. This, I mean, I love the size of getting the biggest TV you can for the room, but yeah, I could sit here and watch this guy grill all day <laughs> long. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, this is like having your own theater room. So maybe you've said, I would love that, but I'm not trying to have 
a projector and a screen and all that wiring run through my house. This is like having all of that built in to one unit. So it makes it simple to turn now that family room into a media room yes. um, and th with the 82 inch. So let's talk about this picture and the regular high definition. Sure versus ultra high depth. Yeah, and it's the same kind of jump we had, I'd say about 15 years ago or so, when we first made the move from standard def to high definition televisions. Remember we made that big jump? And this has been the evolution of screens we're seeing here. We went to 720p, 1080p, ultra high def or 4K, you may have seen both of those terms in the market. They mean exactly the same thing. What we're talking about is increasing the number of pixels on the screen. So instead of having a 1080p screen, which meant 1,080 lines of dots. Now we're nearing 4,000 lines of dots. So quadrupling the number of pixels, you get a crisper, sharper image. It's just like if you were to look at a pixelated photograph from back in the day, you go, man, why does everyone look kind of blurry? Well, it's because it's <laughs> pixelated, right? Mm -hmm. Why do you, if you get up close to your high definition television set, you kind of look at some images, you're like, they look pretty good, but it just doesn't have the sharpness around the edges. You don't see that sizzling of the baking there. All the little spices that are on top of this burger and the egg, the drip of the yolk. On a high definition television, it looks good. On this TV, it looks amazing. And it doesn't matter whether you're watching 4K content or not, everything gets pushed up to 4K, even if it's not a 4K video you're watching. So even if you're watching, let's say an old classic movie that was done in the 60s, right? Mm -hmm. This TV would up convert that movie and that was shot 50 years ago, 60 years ago now we're getting, and would make it look as close to 4K as possible. You will notice a substantial difference on how crystal clear everything is on this television. Well, there's so many features. I just want to give you a quick reminder that this is our QVC2 big deal. It's an expiring yes. offer. We're bringing you Samsung quality and a large flat screen TV. So real quickly, I just want to give you a breakdown because you have a choice of size. So there is your 49 inch. We have a 55 inch. Our most popular is the 65, which is what you see mounted uh, on the mantle behind. And then the most limited choice is the 75 inch that you see um, on the table with the other two. And then of course that Mac Daddy 82 inch that we've been sitting in front of. Just know that you've got our best easy payment plan to take advantage of this price and shipping and handling is already included. So there's no additional charge for delivery to your home because how do you get an 82 inch television home from a store? Don't put that on top uh, of your car, please. <laughs> and by the way, the 75 and the 82, mm -hmm. they are too big to fit in a midsize SUV. So you couldn't, yeah, you, like the 65, you may be able to cram it in there depending on what kind of car you have, but those bigger sizes, There's you no need way. to have those delivered. You can't just simply stick them in the back seat. And for those ultra large sizes, the 75 and 82, we actually have a special doorway delivery. We'll explain that, but do know that if you're shopping with the Q card, you could extend your payments over 12 months time interest free if you pay it off within the year. So if you don't have a Q card, get a Q card. And when you open that new Q card account, you'll also receive a $40 account credit for opening that new Q card account. All right, so let's kind of talk specs as far as ports and where we can connect all of our gaming devices and sound. Yeah. And, and, th and this TV is built cable for boxes. absolutely all of that. So this okay. is also a smart TV, by the way. We haven't dove into that quite yet, but we will in a couple seconds. But talk about everything you can connect. Well, you can stream content, but also you can plug in your sound bar because it has the optical audio port out. It also has, a, because it's a smart TV, you need to connect to your internet. You could hardwire with an ethernet plug. But for a lot of people, Gabrielle, where they put their television typically isn't near where they can plug into a router. So this could, right. television has full Wi-Fi connectivity as well. You have four HDMI ports. So we're talking about plugging in your cable box. Mm -hmm. We're talking about plugging in your gaming system, any other ancillary device, you have four of them. And you have two USB ports, which is a really neat thing because I know people like to think, oh, what do I need a USB port on my television? Well, let's say you have some movies on your computer. Mm -hmm. Well, you could download those onto a little thumb drive, plug the thumb drive into the back of the television set and watch all of that content. So there's a ton of versatility to plug everything in on this television. But even if you have nothing to plug in, the fact that this is a smart TV and you can connect to your Wi-Fi network and now Take a look at what Samsung has done. All I'm doing is pressing the little home button oh, mm -hmm. here on the remote control. And when I dive into the smart TV options, you're going to notice a new logo that hasn't been appearing on smart TVs until right about now. 
right there, Apple TV. Samsung was the first company to make a partnership with them to have the Apple TV app on their smart menu bar. What that means for you